Snake fans. This is Lord Nod on day five. This is ESWC. You can hear the cacophony around me. You can hear all everything around, happening around me. But behind us, as you can see, this is Metal Gear Rising, the new edition where Snake comes back in Revengeance. With us is someone, Pierre, uh, someone who's really special. This is Pierre. Pierre, tell us what you do. What's your full name? And uh, what is uh, Metal Gear Rising? Well, uh, so I'm the local product for my manager for France and Rising, and today we are presenting uh, at PGW uh, the game uh, that was shown at the TGS first, and that is now available uh, with uh, Zone of the Enders uh, HD collection as a demo inside. So uh, you can basically just try the game and go out with some nice goodies. Nice, nice. So this is the big show, and what's new about the game? Well. Th this this game is not about Snake for once. Uh, this is about Raiden. Raiden. This is a real spin-off in the series. It's not the Metal Gear Solid. It's a real Metal Gear Rising. It's a bit demo. It's not a game where you have to hide every time. Even if hiding is sometimes a very cool feature that you will need to to use if you go in the harder kind of levels. Uh, so having a a bit demo really is really changing the way you're playing in the the universe of Metal Gear Rising. So. As you could hear, this is something really important that has helped. Um, I didn't want to go ahead and tell you up front, but this game is not about Snake. This is this is Raiden, and it's got he's got this cool sword. I can even say inspired, according to me, by Sephiroth's huge sword out of Final Fantasy. But this really big sword, he's in metal all wear. We've got some of the pictures that is there. There's a guy in cosplay. We'll try to go ahead and cover all metal, all Metal Gear Solid, and really good gameplay. But what is the game focused on this time? Is it more very action oriented very it's very action and the cool features that you can see inside is the blade mode the blade mode allow you to cut in every direction your opponents or the part of the environment that will help you to to move through the game and what's good inside is to really be able to to select how you want to cut them and this is really giving you a powerful feeling Nice. And you release this game in Zone of the Enders, right? As as a exclusive. Well, for now the game will be released uh, in Europe at least. Uh, Zone of the Enders will be released uh, end of November, and will include the demo uh, that we are showing here today, as a, which is a TGS demo that has been shown already end of September at, at Eurogamer, and uh, so we are showing it now. And the game will be released in Europe uh, on 21 February 2013. So you got real good exclusive views here. You're seeing some of the views right now. You're seeing what's happening. So if you like the entire franchise Metal Gear, you will love this. Uh, it's a great development. Uh, what's the view on other platforms besides Xbox? Is, are, is the, will this go on any other platform? Nintendo, Wii U, anything else? Uh, the game is basically uh, planned only for PS3 and Xbox right now. So right now, Xbox and PS3 and uh, simultaneous release dates in February? Yeah, yeah. The same date on the 21. What about uh, release dates outside Europe? Do you have any idea, like Asia? I think it's it's like a, a worldwide release almost. Maybe one or two days, and that will be the same. So worldwide release coming to you in February. Thank you, Pierre. We're going to be check every, checking everything out. We appreciate your time. Well, thank you for being on Lord Nod. Guys, this is Lord Nod, ESWC Boots, uh, Metal Gear Rising, Revengeance. Go play it.